Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in a Millbrook Minute. First up, we have Mr. Sight from the high school. Thank you, Superintendent Hernandez. All those shorts, another great week here at the high school. Our literacy coach has been doing a great job working with our English teachers with reading and writing strategies. And we look forward to the great work as we implement these new strategies in our classrooms. Congratulations to our girls volleyball team that won their bracket in our home sectional warm-up tournament last weekend and eventually lost in the championship game to a tough Cornwall High School. You can watch them here at the high school along with our JV team on Tuesday versus Ellenville. And our boys soccer team plays home in their last game on Thursday at 415. Progress reports are available via student and parent view. Please reach out to your classroom teachers if you have any questions. Have a great weekend. Here's Mr. Cabello at the middle school. Thank you, Mr. Seif. I certainly want to sec in his sentiments in the great work that Garrett Jones Roy is doing with our ELA department and what a jam-packed three-day week we have had. Our uh, grades will also be coming out for the progress report uh, tomorrow, again, only at the secondary level, so be prepared for that. Um, on Wednesday, what an awesome sight up on our field, seeing our boys football team, girls soccer, track and field, all in matches while our boys soccer team was practicing. So nice to see everybody out. On Thursday, I hope you had a chance to see our Blazers uh, out in the community, walking around, doing their seventh grade walking field trip. And we ended our week with lots of real great positivity throughout the district here with news from Alden Place. Here's Mr. Lipka. Thank you, Mr. Cabello. We thank our PTO for making our fall book fair a success with organizing the setup, managing the sales, and finally taking down the fair. Next week is special at Alden Place because we have our first yoga presentation of the year. It's on Thursday. Have a great weekend, Blazers. Now to Mrs. O'Connell at Elm Drive. Thank you, Mr. Lipka. Another wonderful week here in Elm Drive. On Wednesday, our kindergartners had a blast at Kasiki Farm, uh, which was followed by our reunification drill. Thank you to all the parents and staff who supported us in carrying out this essential drill. Today, we held our second Blue Ribbon Blazer Assembly of the Year, where we uh, recognized students who demonstrated respect, and we also introduced the new focus on being a buddy and not a bully. Next week, we have the Millbrook Fire Department visiting to present fire safety to our students, followed by some touch a truck fun for kids to explore the fire truck. Now on to Mrs. Holsborg with student services. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connell. A reminder that there is a hiding in plain sight drug awareness and prevention webinar on October 19th from 7 to 8 p.m presented by Twalkoff. I hope to see you there virtually. In addition, please take a look at our updated student services website where you can find tons of information on social emotional learning. You'll find information on our Cape and Aster services and our ruler curriculum. We're kicking off our ruler curriculum next week, so stay tuned for our next Millbrook Minute for an update on that. And I wish you all a great weekend. And now on to Dr. Watkins. Thank you, Ms. Holzberg. So it's been another great week. Happy Friday, everyone. So in addition to our literacy coach um, coming and supporting grades 6 through 12, we also had um, uh, Megan Hargrave here in grades 3 through 5 supporting the literacy in Alden Place. And next week we have Shelly Klein coming to support P2 in looking at reading and read alouds and the impact on literacy. I want to also thank uh, the PTO and everyone who's gone out for membership. Um, you may not realize, but the biggest fundraiser that the PTO does is through your membership. Um, so we look for uh, continued growth in that. And finally, I just want to highlight once again, when you get the Millbrook Minute in your email this week, please take time to click through the different links that include the MCSD newsletter, which will include links to things such as Tall Cup, Red Ribbon Week, and all the other things that we're talking about. With that, we're off to Mr. Garcia in business and personnel. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, Dr. Watkins. Uh, a busy week, albeit a short one for us uh, in the operations side of the district. 
Uh, Want to definitely uh, give a shout out to all of our facilities and operations staff for supporting all these wonderful events. Uh, they, they've had just short days to get things done, but all of our fields and, and facilities have been uh, kept up to speed for all of these contests that our students have been engaged in. So we really much really appreciate the work that those those uh, team members bring to the table. Uh, also, our tech department has been working very hard behind the scenes on, on a number of projects. And in the absence of Mr. Curse, I want to give a shout out to our tech team uh, for their tireless efforts as well. Um, building on Dr. Watkins' comment about the Blazer Bulletin, I want to also welcome Laura Fasheen, who's been doing our communication services. She's going to be our new webmaster too. So uh, with an eye for marketing and publicity, she's doing a great job of getting the word out for all the wonderful things happening. Uh, we welcome Laura in her new capacity as well. We look forward to sharing even more uh, stories and pictures with the community. Uh, and if anybody knows anyone who's looking, we still have that big apply button on our website. So uh, please take a look or share it with anybody that you know that may want to join our team. Uh, with that, we go back to Ms. Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. I do want to give a special shout out to our Elm Drive staff and with the assistance of the high school, the reunification drill um, that took place on Wednesday, certainly no small feat, but it is extremely important and quite cutting edge for our region. So much so that we once again had two different agencies represented. We had the Wappinger Central School District administration and teachers from John Jay High School, East Fishkill, as well as the Putnam County Department of Health represented in observing. Uh, we are a lab site teaching other districts how to uh, execute protocols for safety and security. So I could not be more proud of the efforts here within the district and how we are leading that that surged throughout the county. So congratulations to the two buildings that did that once again very successfully. And I did also want to just say, I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend last weekend. Have a great weekend this weekend and we will see you next week.